Hi, this is Miss Day. I would like to show you how to create a one-point perspective drawing of uh, a house, the outside of a house. The first thing you need to do is to draw a horizontal line um, approximately in the middle of your page and this line represents where the sky meets the ground. The next thing you'll want to do is to place a point on that line which is going to be your vanishing point. I typically like to use uh, where the horizon line touches the edge of the paper so that I have as much space as possible to work with. So this is going to be my vanishing point here right on the edge of the paper. The next thing you want to do is to draw the side of your house. The house rises into the sky and also sets on the ground. Once you've drawn the side of your house, you want to also draw some orthogonals that go from the top of your house to the vanishing point and from the bottom corner of your house to the vanishing point. The next step is to draw a parallel line that's parallel with the front edge of your house. Then we need to erase the lines that we no longer need. Oops. Let me keep that at a two. And I want to switch. So I'm going to erase the horizon line that's running through the, the center of the house. I'd no longer need that. And then I'm also going to erase the orthogonal that is extra that goes past the house. I no longer need that either. Now for any of the um, windows or doors that are located on this side of the house, they will all be at a 90 degree angle. For instance, this could be a door and this could be a window and here's my upstairs window and maybe there's another smaller window here and if you'd like to draw uh, one of the hip roofs the roofs that have an angle I'm guessing approximately the center here. Oh, that's not really what I wanted to do. I'm going to try that one more time. I wanted this line to actually extend just a little bit more. All right, and then from the top of the roof, you would also draw a line back to the orthogonal. And then you can see here, we need a parallel line that's parallel to the roof line on the front of the house. Now, everything that I draw on this side of the house is either going to be parallel to the front edge or the back edge, which are vertical lines, or um, it's going to go to this vanishing point. So let's start upstairs with some windows. Let's say that this is the edge of my first window. Well, if I take this back to the vanishing point, then I can see where the top and the bottom of my windows are going to be. And I can divide this up so that I have a series of windows. And as, as things go back in space, they get closer and closer together and they become smaller and smaller. <laughs> I 
As for the front door, we'll have the same um, We'll have the same technique, but now I'm thinking I want to find the center so I can put the front door in the center. And in order to do that, you need to draw a, a, a square that goes from corner to corner. I mean, excuse me, an X inside the square that goes corner to corner so that you can figure out exactly where the center is. So you can see here, this is actually the center line. And I may want to adjust some of the windows since I have made that um, determination. I may need to move this line over just slightly here. So maybe I'll just do this. Okay. And so. Um, I can see here this is the height of my door on this side. So the door on this side is going to be the same height. So I already have the top of the door here. So let's go ahead and bring this line down for the side of one door and this line down for the side of the second door. And this line is suddenly looking a little crooked to me. I'm going to go back and erase some of these lines so that they don't become too confusing. So this was the line that um, showed me where my center was. Alright, so if I'd like to draw a porch onto this house, then what I need to do is um, I need to create another plane here that's going to be just like this plane. So I want this to be parallel, I want this line to be parallel with the bottom of the paper. And um, the top parallel with the bottom and the top of my paper. Same thing here. This needs to be parallel with the, the top and the bottom of the paper. So this is going to be an, an extended porch. So this is how I figure out where the end of the porch is. So I'm going to extend this line a little bit further out. And as a matter of fact, um, I could create um, some steps here. Part of the assignment was to draw some steps. And so from these steps, from each from each corner, I need to draw a line that goes back to the vanishing point. And you can see here, this is a little extra piece, I'll erase that. This needs to come straight down, just like this one, parallel to that one. Then it needs to come across, so it could be parallel just like this one. And then this line needs to come straight down, which is parallel to this one. And then this this line could represent the sidewalk. I 
maybe this is where the sidewalk turns and goes this direction. So let's erase some of these lines so that it doesn't get too confusing. So I no longer need this line or this line. Don't need this line anymore. This one. Oh, I may have erased too many. I think I got ahead of myself. Yes, I think I'll replace, I think I will replace a few lines that I should have left there. So, like this one. Um, we'll say that this comes up here. And then let's say that it turns and goes behind the house. Then it's going to be a, a line that is parallel. All right, so to draw a porch um, that has a, a covering over this, let's say that we want to draw the porch right here. This would be the side of the porch. You can see that it is has 90 degree angles and is, has parallel lines to this part of the house. However, these corners are going to go back to the vanishing point. This corner also, back to the vanishing point. And this will help us determine where the post is going to go on this side. It should be a vertical line coming straight up. Oop. Just like that. And if you want to add the thickness to the post, of course you would need a line on this side and a line on that side. <clears throat> there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and Try to get these lines back in there. Just putting a door frame on the door. Try to make it look a little bit nicer. And let's go back and erase some more of these lines that we don't need. We need, this needs to be a little bit thicker. And we'll go ahead and take this out because this line will be turning. We don't need this one anymore. Mm -hmm. it's a, it is a one point perspective drawing of a house. Mm -hmm. 